practically day glow this morning, Bentley. But it is day glow, really, isn't it? Because it's during the day. Hello, Nippy. No, you're not impressed. How you want to go home now, don't you? We've been out long enough. <laughs> Bless him. Hey, look at that little face. What a good boy. Yeah, not impressed. So after the miserable weather of the last few days, the sun's out today. Almost blue skies today. So I'm letting the boys go where they want to today. So we're going to go have a little bit of an extended walk because they didn't really get much of one yesterday because it was too wet. We'd only been out five minutes when Nippy turned around and decided he wanted to go back home again. And just in that short space of five minutes, I actually got soaked through to the skin. My jeans were completely soaked through and so was my coat, which is supposed to be waterproof, but there you go. So today, instead, we're having a bit of an extended walk. I'm, as they say in horses, I'm letting them have the head. <laughs> so, big, fat, wet raindrops today. Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody on a theme of Paganini, oh. Martin. Thank you, Alad. Um, yeah, it's raining, but they're big, wet, fat, big raindrops which are just the ones or just the type to turn into great big fat snowflakes because it feels cold enough for that to happen today it's um in case you're wondering it's saturday 4th of november um i'm just on the way down to the post office i've got a couple of website orders to get off and also a couple for Ian as well so I thought I'll we'll combine both of them and then I'm nipping over to the supermarket and because we've got guests tomorrow my sister and her partner Steve are coming over for a couple of nights just for a visit which is cool so I just need to stock up on a few bits and bobs by bits and bobs, I mean alcohol. <laughs> it's Sunday, the 5th of November. It is bonfire night, in which we remember <laughs> um, an attempt to destroy Parliament 500 years ago. <laughs> Look it up, the gunpowder plot. Anyway, we're, we're still kind of commemorating it, which is, you know, it's ridiculous really, when you think about it. Um, a Catholic plot to blow up the king. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, so there was lots of fireworks last night. There has been fireworks for the last couple of nights, but last night was particularly um, noisy. Uh, and I'm sure that there'll be a fair few fireworks tonight as well, with it being um, bonfire night proper um, so we've had to watch TV quite loud last night but we treated ourselves last night we we bought um, and downloaded the new um, Poirot the death death in Venice um, and thoroughly enjoyed it yeah it was it was very good um, it's a spin on the old Agatha Christie Halloween party. Um, but, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I mean, the, the cinematography, the, the setting in Venice, all that kind of stuff was absolutely amazing. And it was just superbly acted from start to finish. Um, yeah, couldn't have wanted more for an Agatha Christie story. So, thoroughly enjoyed that. So, after we'd finished watching that, go on, you dopey tw Oh, sorry. The traffic lights and somebody's just stopped. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so we watched that last night and had it on full blast so the dogs weren't kind of disturbed and they weren't for the most of it, they slept kind of all the way through it um, so that was good but like I say, tonight may be a different story we'll see what happens So as I said yesterday I think uh, my sister 
Leslie and her partner Steve are coming for a few nights visit today um, but they won't be arriving until about five o'clock um, so Ian's frantically changing bedding and all that kind of stuff while I'm out shopping uh, all I've come out for is just to get some nibbles and things it's kind of like a games evening so I'm gonna get some nibbles and a couple of bottles of wine and and that kind of thing in um, but they're gonna be like I said they're not gonna be arriving until about five six o'clock so we're going to be doing Sunday lunch differently today so we're going to be doing a cooked brunch so full English breakfast but about 11 o'clock or maybe for 12 o'clock um, and that will carry us through until they get here um, and then we're going to do takeaway pizza I think um, so that should be rather nice looking forward to that I'm actually looking forward to playing the games and just spending some time with them on their own because <laughs> usually when they come up they're usually um, visiting mum and dad so this is the first time in quite a while I think since June 2021 that we've actually had any time together without mum and dad being around so looking forward to it So that's the shopping done. Just excuse the um, the sunshine. I can't believe it. I've just walked out of the supermarket and the sun's out and it's roasting. It's like a summer's day. It's just weird. The weather is weird at the moment. All right, so I'm all stocked up. Chocolate nibbles and wine. <laughs> what do you need? Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ian! Happy birthday to you! Mm. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the smoke alarm's going off. <laughs> <laughs> I take no publicity. So it's Monday. Uh, Ian's out with the dogs. He's just waited until uh, Leslie and Steve have gone out. They're still staying over tonight, um, but they thought while they were over here, they might as well take the opportunity um, to nip across to Meadow Hall, which is a huge um, kind of shopping mall, not too far away from here. Well, oh, that's not very good, is it? That's better. Um, just do a little bit of Christmas shopping and get a few bits and pieces because there's an Ikea next door um, to Meadow Hall as well. Um, and they're just renovating the house at the moment. So they thought they'd just nip across and pick up a few bits and pieces. They're only going to be, bought, be gone about an hour and a half. It's not that far, really. It's just straight down the motorway and off again. Um, so when they get back, obviously then the board games are going to carry on. So like I said, Ian's out with the dogs. Um, and as soon as he gets back, um, then I can just maybe try and get a little bit of work done today. Um, but also I've got to nip across to mum and dad's as well, just to make sure they're all right today as well. So it's going to be a bit of an action packed day today. So it's Tuesday afternoon. So Leslie and Steve left around about half past 10 this morning um, to go back home again. <coughs> Excuse me. 
We had a successful shopping trip yesterday to Meadowhall, uh, managed to get a few bits and pieces. And then for the rest of the day, we ended up just playing more board games uh, and eating and talking. <laughs> um, uh, just catching up, basically, because it's a, the first time in quite a while. In fact, June, I think it was, um, the last time I was able to actually have a conversation with my sister, um, which face to face um, without mum and dad being there. So we had lots to talk about, about what's going to happen in the future, um, what we really should be doing, um, contingency planning, if you like, um, but also what her plans were, because she's now semi-retired, my sister and her partner Steve, both semi-retired, um, so that they're able to come up and um, see mum and dad more often, and as Leslie put it, um, shoulder a little bit more of the burden but they're not really a burden but you know what i mean shoulder a bit more responsibility for looking after them and that kind of stuff um so that's going to be nice because that means i get to see more of them as well um but like i said this was the first time since june that i've been able to actually sit down and talk frankly and openly about you know um how looking after mum and dad um, you know, it's quite difficult sometimes because obviously dad's had his stroke, he suffers from asphasia and mum has a dementia. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have somebody to talk to. Um, another member of the family, obviously Ian does help as well, but, um, but another member who's going to come and actually take active responsibility for looking after them as well, taking some of the, like I said, some of the responsibility, which is nice. So we had a good chat, a really good chat. So although it was a happy occasion, because obviously we were celebrating Ian's birthday, um, which he hasn't had yet, by the way. <laughs> we only celebrated his birthday because they were there. <laughs> his birthday is yet to come. Um, so um, we've got another weekend coming up. <laughs> we've got more friends coming over to celebrate his birthday. Um, because Ian's having a birthday week or two weeks. <laughs> I think he's going to stretch it out to about two weeks. So anyway, um, yeah, what was I saying? I've completely forgotten what I was saying now. Um, yeah, so we've got another busy week, uh, a week end coming up too. So yeah, um, hopefully I'm going to get a little bit of time to myself. Um, I did actually sit and start to do some painting. Um, something which I wanted to do um, and I started doing this little beautiful project so it's not finished yet I've still got this side and across the top there to do the yellow ochre colour that you can see there is just the ground um, but that's pretty much going to be hopefully the project when it's actually finished it's um, 16 inches by 12 inches so 12 inch that way by 16 inches that way it's a uh, canvas hard canvas um, but it's something that I don't do very often, but I wanted to do, um, to actually sit and just paint for me. What I'm going to do with it afterwards, I've got absolutely no idea whether I frame it and put it up somewhere in the house or what. I don't know yet. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, but once it's finished, I will show you the finished version. Don't worry. But it might take me a week or so <laughs> because I want to do it in peace and quiet with no interruptions. And you know, those little moments are few and far between in this house. Mr. Nip's making strange noises. Are you grunting? Eh? Are you grunting, little fella? I know you're liking this new tartan blanket, aren't you? Eh? It's all nuggly. Yes, it is. <laughs> no idea where his brother is. Yeah, there we go. And you're quite comfy. Oh, look at that big stretch. Look at that. Look at those long leggies. Eh? You're comfy as well. He's a good boy, eh? He is. Icky sick this morning, weren't you? Eh? Somebody was eating grass, made himself sick. But he's all right now. 
So more preparations for Ian's birthday. So while he's been out, I've been able to wrap some of his birthday presents up. So that's that job <laughs> done, ticked off the list. I just have to find somewhere to hide them now so he doesn't get them or doesn't find them before the day. It's, like it's worse than a kid sometimes. If you've been following our vlogs for a while, you'll know our friend Karen. We have, uh, we've introduced her on many, many occasions and she does the steampunk shows with Ian where she sells her handmade silver jewellery that she's made from old vintage and antique um, silver cutlery and other silver items like um, toast racks and that kind of stuff. She makes jewellery from vintage and antique silver. Um, she makes some beautiful things but she wanted to for next year she wants a second product line if you like a side hustle to her main hustle um, and she's very much interested as am I in um, things like the tarot cards and that kind of esoteric kind of spirituality not necessarily spiritualism because she kind of airs more towards like the pagan and the wicker side uh, whereas I'm just more of a general kind of spiritual person um, I don't believe in any one divine being um, I believe in a overall kind of consciousness if you know what I mean anyway that's for an, another day's conversation um, so Karen was wanted to sort out and, and do this new kind of side hustle ready for next year so she could do kind of those kind of markets at the goth markets and the, the pagan and the wiccan and the, the fantasy forest and the fairyland kind of markets that she wanted to go into um not only because it's fun because <laughs> they are um but it's a subject that that she's interested in so i said i would sit down with her and work out some new kind of products for her that we could maybe help in in developing for her um so I ordered some black and white acrylic um, and using all the, the kind of Halloween-y shapes that I've got, the cobwebs, the bats, the witches, the witches' shoes, the cauldrons, the, all that kind of stuff, um, I've developed a full range of little plasticky dangly earrings that she's going to put on silver, um, silver hoops and that kind of thing, but also a complete set of like pendants for necklaces and that kind of thing, which are a bit of fun. Um, but if you're into that kind of thing, they're, they're, they're kind of cute to wear. They're, they're not huge earrings or anything like that. I'll, um, I'll see if I can try and find a photograph that she sent me um, of the stuff because I, I got them cut for her and she's already started to put the, uh, the ear loops, I'm not sure what they call the thing that goes through your ear, um, on some of them. But also she's wanting to put some kits together for like, incense and smudge sticks and like an abalone shell and crystals and that kind of stuff so she wants me to develop a box for her um which i've been designing for her today um so i'm going to for the first time i'm going to try and cut it but we're going to use a pre-colored black mdf so she's also asked me to design a set of witches runes for her but if you don't know what rune stones are, it's what you cast to tell the fortunes and, and that kind of thing. Um, but the witches ones are slightly different, sometimes called gypsy runes. Um, and I've done those on the black MDF, and these are just a few of them. And I've done them in a little cauldron shape, look. Out there, cute. That one's the moon, uh, and that one is um, the star. That's what that one's called. And this one is called Crossroads. <laughs> and that one is Waves. So we've developed those, but that's the black MDF. So she wants a box making out of the black MDF, which we can um, which we can engrave because it's ordinary kind of medi or MDF on the back, but you can engrave onto it and it looks really, really cute. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do today. So my next project for today is to have a look at that box, cut one of those, because I've designed a logo for it called the Witch's Kitchen, and with, with kind of um, 
pagany symbols and that kind of little stars and little swirls and and broomsticks and that kind of thing on it um before I, I can even go and sit and do any more painting on mister over there so that's my next task for today I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.